All right, you guys, welcome back to some more Happy Mayor. I am continuing on. We are getting into Saki's route right now and making some of the decisions that lead up to that. So I have now selected that we are going to choose the stainless steel key to our apartment. No matter how you looked at it, that was the key to my apartment. The keys I hadn't chosen melted away without a sound, but the key in my hand remained. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she will be. I mean, she's been pretty close to us for a long time now. Maya! Her grinning mouth disappeared, leaving only the joyful echoes of her voice behind. I can no longer touch Maya even if I reached out to her. Uh, can we skip? We cannot skip. Okay. More importantly, as soon as Maya was gone, the space around me looked like it would crumble at any moment. Damn it, where does this go to? I hurriedly flew to the entrance and exit doors. If I guessed right, the doors should open with this. As the space slowly melted, I tried to shove the key into the lock, but because I was in such a hurry, the key wouldn't go in. Damn it. Ah! Ah! My hands were slippery, but I somehow got the key in. I turned it until it made a clicking sound. I somehow jumped through the doors before the space crumbled completely. For a moment, I felt a floating sensation. When that ended, I... Woke up in my apartment! Yay, the dream's over, right? No more nightmares. I suddenly murmured. Next thing I knew, I was in my apartment, sitting in front of the Kotatsu. Next to me, Saki tilted her head. Her textbooks and notebooks were splayed around the table. Something just seems weird. Why was I doing this? The thought rolled around my mind, but... Uh, there's a lot of things. Where would you like me to start? <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> No, never. It's not me. Uh, being mean, it's... Uh, huh? What was it? Even though I was certain something weird was going on, I had no idea what it was. If I didn't know, then that was fine, or so I had convinced myself. Well, whatever. Saki, this answer is wrong. I pointed to something that Saki had written in her notebook, the same one that I had been looking at just a second ago. That's right, I had been helping Saki with her studies. Okay. The equation is a trick question where you're supposed to use this formula. I pointed at the air with my mechanical pencil, but Saki tilted her head in obvious confusion. Hey, do you still not understand? That's when anybody tries to show me anything. I just, I, I, I don't get it right away. I have to do it quite a few times before it like really like melts into my brain. In silence, I pointed to the formula she was supposed to use and the X and Y being used this time. And I just don't like math. I don't care to sit there and deal with numbers all day. Not my point of interest. Those are substituted here. So if you expand this, then you get this, right? I can relate, Saki, because I'll ask for someone to explain it in English, even though they've been talking in English the entire time. I've been explaining in Japanese, haven't I? And why was she speaking so formally? Uh, symbols can't be helped, and I didn't use one just now. So with this problem, you do this here, and then this. I solved the problem explaining as I went along. Next to me, Saki watched and nodded. So the answer is four and one thirds. Understand? <laughs> I don't think she understands. I try solving the problem below that one. I pointed to a problem that used the exact same formula. All she had to do was solve it like the last one. I looked at my own assignment. It was English translation, so I could do it even as I helped Saki with hers. Mm -hmm. Next to me, Saki was puzzling over the problem to an almost comical extent. Uh, Saki-san? You said you understood it, didn't you? Saki said with an incredibly serious face. I had known this would probably happen, that didn't mean I knew what to do about it. In short, we had a rocky road ahead of us. What does ice cream have to do with this? Saki, you're gonna flunk at this rate. Oh yeah, I hate it, and I'm bad at it, but that's not the point. <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of people do that, like... They hate something because they're not good at it. Like, it's not natural to them. 
I, I, I'm not saying that I don't do that. Like, I definitely do that. Um, that's how I know other people do it, right? Um, I just find it funny that we kind of do that. We don't, like... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do try to, like, get better at something that they're not good at, even if they don't like it. Uh, but I'm just like, yeah, if, if I don't if I don't enjoy it, if I'm not good at it, I'm, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> but I looked up in the set of problems, Saki's face was right in front of my eyes. What are you doing? Hi, Saki. How's it going? Saki's rizzing me up right now. Saki smiled. Her shampoo smelled. Stop with the smelling! You know how I feel about that. It makes me uncomfortable. If I move my face just a bit closer, I would be able to kiss her. I found myself thinking. This happens every time characters are studying. It's just like, hmm. You know, this is kind of boring. Let's have sex. <laughs> like, that's just what ends up happening. Uh, Toe? I put my finger against Saki's forehead and pushed her face away. That was close. I didn't know what I would have ended up doing if we remained at that distance. Even if you complain the final exam won't go away, you know they'll stick with you uh, with extra classes if you flunk the final. People rarely failed. Failed failed at Tsukiyo, but instead they were remedial classes and supplementary lectures. Of course, those classes made use of the summer, winter, and spring breaks between semesters. Ah, oh, you would lose your breaks? Like, I think that should be illegal. Like, you need, need, need breaks. <laughs> Like, I think there's a few places that you absolutely need breaks. I think, like, with school, you need mandatory breaks. It doesn't have to be as long as, like, you know, two months of the summer. But you need at least time off. You need, like, breaks. You need holidays where you're not constantly having to worry about, like, school. I think the other place you need breaks is work. You need w breaks while you're working. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like super long breaks that you need at least some time where you can just kind of turn your brain off for a minute um, or focus in on something else you'd rather. Uh, and then you need vacation time at breaks, um, which is, you know, it's kind of similar to school, to school, right? Like you need time where you can just like get out of town, go do something fun, or just maybe stay in town and do something fun. You need, you need time to dedicate to other things because you're just going to burn out if you're constantly focused on school or work or whatever it is. Especially as a parent, you need breaks, okay? I'm I'm a parent, I know you need breaks. I have one child, and I I take every ad advantage of every situation I have where my daughter and I aren't together, just because dealing with a child is a handful, okay? Uh, it can be stressful, you're trying to teach them, and they're also trying to teach you to have patience at the same time, and you need breaks sometimes, you know? Maybe depending on your remedial class schedule. Christmas was during winter break, and the supplementary class schedules usually didn't take holidays into account. And if she had to redo all for math and science classes, she might as well not even have a winter break. Okay, that's what we want to hear, Saki. Alright, do your best. Then let's start from here to here on this page. You can find most of the formulas from page 170 to page 177 in the textbook. Saki gave a small fist pump and started on the set of problems. I return to my own assignment. It's very interesting that uh, he would be tutoring her. I just feel like... I mean, I'm not saying Toru's dumb. And I'm not saying smart Saki's, like, dumb either. I just find it funny. Full 30 minutes later, I took a break from my English translations and looked at Saki's answers again. However, this is terrible. I had expected this much, but... I never would have imagined it would be this bad with her having a textbook in hand and problems that weren't word problems. Hey Saki, I always said it with you before exams, right? So, so nice. With her feet still under the kotatsu, she was lying limp like a cat. Seeming to have used up all of her willpower, there was no strength in her reply. Feeling a headache coming on, I looked over her problems. Saki was earnest, so she had taken notes on the formulas she used along the way and had marked the parts she'd understand with question marks. It was easy to tell what she, didn't, what she didn't understand, and how she had gotten it wrong. I suddenly looked at Saki. She was laying on her side, and I noticed that all, that all of the sitting had hiked up her skirt. I feel like this is just seeing how fast we can sexualize a situation. <laughs> like, it is just constant. Simply put, her butt was in plain view. 
Well, her butt's been showing quite a lot lately. She really needs to wear better fitting clothes. Isaki, I can see your panties. Oh, she is wearing shorts. How do you see them, then? I came in the other day wearing shorts, didn't you? Meaning today it was a skirt. I wonder, I, I want to count, okay, guys? I want to, I, I really wish I was diligent enough to, to count these things. I want to count how many times she calls us a pervert in this route. <laughs> Taki left out and got away from the Kotatsu. Didn't you pretty much show them to me? Maybe I should just cheat and find, like, a script of the entire game and just search up how, or, like, you are a pervert or something. Saki went red, complete with tears in her eyes. Though she was holding down her skirt as she looked at me since she had backed off out of the katatsu, I could see her panties from the front in between her legs. Should I tell her that? <laughs> Toru, you're making me think that you're actually a pervert because you keep noticing it. I understand that it is showing, but you keep pointing it out. That just makes you look bad. I can't defend you when you're doing that, okay? Saki regularly had moments where she was completely defenseless. For now, just come back here. It is kind of interesting, now that we're like spending more time with her and we're kind of going down her route, uh, how she's kind of like softened up a bit. She's not just like constantly uh, on, the offen on the offensive with us. Exams weren't tomorrow or the next day, but it wasn't like we had infinite time either. I mean, it's just nice to see Saki like not just constantly like getting mad at us or like suddenly pulling a gun out of nowhere. Yeah, I prefer this. I really do. I had to drive at least enough back into her head so that she wouldn't flunk. Still with tears in her eyes, Saki warily came back a little bit at a time. Just then the doorbell suddenly rang. What? Well, who is it at this hour? This is the middle of the day! What do you mean at this hour? After a few rings, the doorknob made a sound as I was trying to get out of the katatsu. Of course, that was the sound of the door being unlocked, and while I still was in a semi-crouching position, you could also call it me being up on my guard, the door flung open. <sighs> Uh, there's been plenty of mistakes. I mean, just look at Saki's homework now. There were talk Arasan's first words as she opened the door and looked around the room. I could also say you're a mistake. Barge in here without permission. That's the first thing you say. Saki had left the katatsu, put some distance between us, and the angle was such that I could see- My guy! Again! What do you mean? That's like the third time! I can't keep defending you. I'm not going to. You are just being a pervert. You keep mentioning it. You keep looking for it. I understand that, like, if it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, look over there and it's there. I just feel like he's looking for it at this point, okay? That was a semi crouching position. Seeing this talking about gave a nod. Okay, she's showing trust in us. This is good. I mean, she shouldn't because we're gradually getting more perverted. She waved and turned to leave the apartment. Wait, 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 wait. What is it you have the wrong idea about? Well, now, you know what he's going to do? He's going to push her down as soon as you leave, because he knows he has three hours. Saki's face went red all at once. Takara-san, you're supposedly Saki's caregiver and her father's subordinate, aren't you? I mean, is Sakahara related? Is like, is this her older sister or something? Because, I mean, she looks like she could be. I mean, they have similar hair, for sure. Uh, I would say the biggest thing is, like, the eye color is a little bit different. Uh, I do wonder, though. I, I'm thinking of Clockwork Leyline again. I'm like, is she is she a powerful Maggie that can like control time? Because she's got red eyes. <laughs> like our son's face was so full of confidence, there was nothing I could say in response. But with her panties still visible, Saki looked at me with a gaze that made her look like she had a lot to say. Was Saki always this defenseless? For starters, didn't she usually call me? For just a moment, my vision went dark. What nonsense was I spouting? Things had always been like this. But Takahara-san, what are you doing here? Don't tell me it was really uh, to check on that. <laughs> That's true. Very true. 
Uh, by the way, Takara-san was what you might call a prodigy who had studied abroad instead of graduating from a national university. I'd had her teach me subjects I was bad at before, and the reason Saki had never been held back in school was partly thanks to Takara-san. The way Saki took notes in the formulas and parts she didn't understand was one of the fruits of that. Saki is perfectly good at the arts, but... I mean, honestly, amen. Despite all this in contemporary and classical literature and subjects related to history or practical skills, she had overwhelmingly better grades than me. But when it came to math and science, she was on the sort of level that would cause a regular home tutor to run away screaming. <laughs> you know, it's nice to be able to relate to a character, because when it comes to math and science, I know, like, science, at least when I was doing um, schoolwork, I feel like it was just a mixture of, like, reading and then doing math. Like, if you were good at reading a math, you could probably be pretty good at science. It's just a matter of applying it. But, I don't know. Like, our son looked at her with kind eyes as though looking at a small child, she placed the paper bag she had brought in the kitchen. What is your challenge? Is it in regard to homework or in regard to not pushing her down? Oh, okay, so she has to complete the, the homework. Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear. Takara-san stated flat out and Saki hung her head. You know, they always talk about when you're like trying to exercise and you're like doing a certain... Uh, set of things you know you're supposed to do it until failure like that's the way to like really like build muscle you know so if you're lifting weights you got to do it till you like hardly can do it anymore i feel like that's what that means no pain no gain because what when you're doing it to failure that's when it starts hurting saki said with her new determination she loved cake but would she be able to do the challenges I guess we'll find out so what? You got mad at us for thinking about doing that to her, and now you're telling her to do it. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't like this. W what are you saying? Is this appropriate? You're supposed to be the, the caregiver. You're supposed to be, like, the adult? What do you mean? It's like a reward. That was a misunderstanding on your part. Don't tell her that! Yes, it was. When I held her that firmly, Takara-san seemed to take that into consideration. Told her that firmly, uh, with a serious expression on her face. No, I don't want her to think that, because she's going to start thinking that, start trusting us more, and then as soon as we do something that goes against that, she's just going to want to kill us more. No, that's not it either, so don't worry. Apparently not understanding Saki tilted her head. Why do you want me to attack her? You're always getting mad at me for even thinking about it. I don't understand. Not some beast that only thinks below the waist, you know? I don't understand. Why are we having this conversation? Eh? Takara san froze completely, eh? What the hell? What kind of reaction was that? Uh, we haven't. Why are you asking me? Though we've had countless instances of indirect kisses, spoons, straws, chopsticks, and the like. That doesn't count! <laughs> the freaking Japanese doesn't count. Yeah, you still haven't? Yes, we haven't. No, oh, because normal people don't do that. Oh, what are you saying? Lucky said with a pal, but Takara-san didn't look convinced in the least. 
でですか身内びいきになりますけどお嬢様可愛いですよね I'm biased I won't deny it 最近胸だって大きくなったし体つきだって女らしくなってるでしょなんで何もしてないんですか Why are you so concerned with what I do in my free time? Like, why can't you mind your own business? No offense to Takara san, but her passionate ejaculation, but to be perfectly honest. Uh, no. Well, let, let the man finish. Let him cook. No, and as for me not attacking her when she's asleep, if I was going to do something, why would I have to be sneaky about it? Yeah. I can tell you exactly what's going to happen when he does make a move on Saki. She's going to be like. Kind of embarrassed at first, like, oh, what, what are you doing? Like, she's gonna kind of like play it off because she's not used to him doing something, and then she's gonna accept it because I mean, she wants it to happen. Uh, I find it very interesting that we've kind of gone through everything. I feel like we've had some maybe like intimate experiences with some of the other girls, uh, and yet with Saki, we haven't really done anything at all, which I think makes sense considering that you know, she's kind of like a sister. So I think it's going to be really different to go into her route actually having done something. Because I don't count the bad ending, and I don't count the bad ending because you know why. <laughs> uh, there was a certain other face involved there, which by the way was one of the moments that really like cemented to me that this was going to be something special. Uh, when I saw that, because I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> of like freaking Maya's face, I was like, ugh. Anyways. Oh no, she wants it. I know she does. Why is she being so bashful all of a sudden? She's been like this really like outgoing person. Really like straightforward. You know, she reminds me a lot of Michiru from Chrono Clock. And then all of a sudden we got into, you know, kind of getting into her route. She's like, oh, you know, I don't know if I want him to touch me. Like, that's embarrassing. It's like, what, what do you mean? You literally said he could be with the other woman long as he was with you, too. Like, that, those are your own words. Agarasan okay, seemed to understand, but she had an incredibly detached look in her eyes as she nodded. No, don't phrase it like that. I know exactly what you mean by that. Don't say that. <laughs> That's not what I'm thinking. I just felt like there was some sort of deterrent when I came close to making a move on Saki. Not caring about what I was thinking, Takara-san turned to Saki. Saki's face turned bright red. A hey, um, Saki? Don't tell me she's actually did something, I just didn't notice. Is she about to reveal that she's like taking pictures of us sleeping and is like kind of a creeper? So she didn't do anything, just as I was being to feel a little relieved. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Anyways, how are you guys? You guys doing okay? Having a good day? Awesome. I'm glad. This is like Dora, you know? I'm like talking to you guys. And I'm just sitting there with like a smile on my face. Awesome. <laughs> These really awkward pauses. Anyways, um... Sure. How far were you planning on going? You always are calling us your brother. You're always calling us so Nichon and stuff. What do you mean you've always thought about having a baby with us? Hey, yo? Are you guys reading this? What? <laughs> what is going on? As an adult, you should be against that. Why would that be okay? We're still students! Okay. You know, I take back everything I said. Okay. I, I understand. 
ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっ
they, they do have a lot of uncensored versions nowadays. Kind of nice. I know a lot of people are really sensitive about that. They really don't like censorship in this community. Um, I do know that. Why do you sound like an alien? The lovers of this world. What other world do you know of? No. Absolutely not. What kind of harassment is this? This is sexual harassment. No. That would be torture. If I had to take a drink every time they said something suspicious or weird, I would I would I would be running to the bathroom constantly. Wait a minute here. I got the feeling Saki was gonna say something stupid again. I get the feeling that you all are gonna say something stupid again. I mean, Toru is actually the most decent person here right now. And that's saying something, okay? No. Absolutely not. Dummy. Won't work. No way, actually, you should let us study for our exams. I mean, all of that stuff is very valuable, and uh, there's a time and a place for it, but uh, having someone try to get you to do it is not the right way. What about me? It'll happen naturally. You don't need to force it. It's happened naturally with every other girl so far. <sighs> that's not the that's not the the issue here. Bucky said, looking straight at me, her gaze is so direct that I can't look away. No, no. Can I? Where is the emergency exit button? This conversation. Hey, yo. This is a dream. This has to be a dream, right? Like, this is not reality. This is like some of those those dreams where it's like everything goes your way. Like, there's no way this is reality. No way. Okay, so I speculated that she's related to her. Because they kind of look similar. They have, they have very similar hair. So, we're gonna... The two sisters? Really? Yeah, where did that come from? What kind of game am I playing right now? It's the worst sort I've ever heard in more ways than one. Don't say that. I'm telling you it's not okay. Uh, yes. The, the, I think those are honestly his honest feelings. Lately, there are times when it's hard for me to hold back, so please have mercy on me. Hey, yo! Hearing my meek reply, Takara san doubled down. Nope, don't want to know what that is. With that, she handed me one of the most famous personal. Most... Nope, don't, nope. Honestly, about a tear. Nope. Am I going to have to censor this? <laughs> this is a really sus conversation. I threw Takara-san out after she left her refreshments and threw everything into chaos. Oh my gosh, thank you. That conversation's over with. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired after reading that. Flopped down on the sofa and realized Saki was staring at me. Something wrong. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised she doesn't already know about it. I felt like she would, but I guess she's a lot more dense than I thought she would be. I feel like Toru actually knows more than her, which is surprising for a main character. At a loss for a reply, completely froze. Um, eto. How do I even respond to this? It was troubling that that was a part of the reason I couldn't make a move on her. And what I was really afraid of was that if Saki found out about that sort of thing, she might leave my side. 
You're fine the way you are, Saki. Well, I was holding back. That it means Saki was someone I could just push down because I needed an outlet. Saki put her hands to her chest. No. <laughs> that's even worse than just having sex. Like, that's just straight up worse. A tense outburst poured from my mouth along with my breath. Whoa, 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 why? Do you know what they are? You want to see even though you already know. She didn't, she didn't understand. I mean, it's not like I had any that were particularly extreme, but still... What should I do? I could tell, couldn't tell her that I had a preference for big boobs. What if Saki misunderstands or loses confidence in herself? Oh, now you care about this, huh? Hmm. No. Of course I don't. And what would happen if after I showed her? Wouldn't that be the end of it? Would I be able to end it? What would Saki think? What would Saki think of me and what would she try to do? Could it be that I should just push Saki down? There's no way. Toru-chan, in the first place that name was... Why are you calling me that anyways? And the reason I don't push you down isn't because you don't know anything. I felt a wave of guilt and regret. It wasn't out of pure obligation or opposition. The nightmare scent drifted around the apartment. Hey, Saki, our relationship isn't like this, is it? Takara san urging us on like that and Saki not knowing anything. It wasn't like that. Toru-chan? Okay, so I was right. This is a nightmare. Okay, because I'm like, there's no way this is reality. Absolutely no way. I'm your Nissan, right? I don't know what my face looked like at that moment, but with those words, the world fell apart. Oh, thank goodness. That wasn't reality. Oh, just like sweating over here. <sighs> Finally, it's over. Reality dreams. The next thing I knew, I'd fallen into this room. Can we skip? We can skip. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Let's just go with Alice. I don't even actually want to do Saki's route anymore after seeing all that. No, of course we're going with Saki. There was a face I suddenly thought of. Before I could say anything, Maya looked at me and smiled. Mike kicked off her invisible perch in the air and moved away from me. What did you come here for? Can I skip again? Putting the clan's plans... Gosh, they, the way this skips, it's like we jump really far ahead. Putting the plans for the Christmas live show aside for the moment, I went out... I was out shopping with Saki. There's a lot of reasons for that. I'm tired from the present here, Saki calling me that too. Right now, I was just dealing with Saki, the normalcy of it all made me tired, but I also felt relieved. Oh, this is around the time they're all thinking me, thinking of me uh, as their brother, right? Having you as my sister is enough, and he truly means that. While I answered like that, Saki looked at me like she, uh, she wanted to say something before smiling at me with narrowed eyes. I was really curious about that, but if I poked into it now, it could just backfire on me, so I couldn't say anything. I do, but unlike them, it's normal for you to call me Nissan. I nodded. So what's up? You keep glancing at my face. Well, we're still in a dream. I hadn't been wearing them since we got caught up in this dream, so maybe it was weird for me to wear my glasses while, while I lived normally. Saki knew the reason I wore my fake glasses. It was to distinguish between dreams and reality. I had started wearing them around the time Saki started calling me her brother. It was true that I hardly took them off in front of Saki. In fact, when I didn't wear my glasses, Saki would get concerned and put them on me. New ones, huh? What for? They were just for show, and it wasn't like they were broken anywhere. Oh, 
So you like me in glasses. That's what I'm hearing. Saki nodded multiple times to herself. Even if I do get new ones, I won't wear them here. I don't really have the money for that. If Saki was going to pick them out, then they would probably be something fairly expensive. I didn't really have money to spend on my outward appearance. Yeah, like we're forgetting that she comes from like a family that obviously has money. I can just let you get me a pair though. Of course, I couldn't just say thanks when my little sister gave me a present. Yeah, as long as it's not anything that we just talked about, you know, not too long ago. You wouldn't remember. Her face seemed the same as always, but she was always she also looks somehow excited. I get nervous uh, about what she was going to request in her turn. It doesn't really matter if my glasses don't suit me. Seems like a big fuss for one pair of glasses. Saki narrowed her eye her eyes and gave me an annoyed look. Yeah, it's really interesting. My, uh, my wife, when, like, we were first talking and stuff, getting to know each other, she would look at, like, pictures of me from, like, the past. And when I was younger, I definitely didn't take care of my appearance as much as I do now. Not, the, not to say I really do much anyways, like I try to dress nicer, but I feel like this was more of my style has changed. And then I try to keep my hair shorter, uh, just because I don't like it when it gets too long, it just becomes hard to manage. So I mean, it's both like a an aesthetic choice, and it's also just a convenience one as well. Uh, but she like would look at pictures of me when I was younger, and she was like, I don't know if I really am attracted to him. Uh, and then she said, like, oh yeah, I saw this one picture of you, and that was, like, more recent, and she's like, oh, actually, he is really attractive, I really am into him. Uh, that, that's the only time a girl's ever said that to me, and we got married, and now we have a child, so. I'm just teasing, okay? I, I've had girls that have been into me, okay? She wasn't the only one. Uh, but yeah, just, just kind of interesting. Uh, I feel like a lot of guys just don't really take care of themselves, and that's why they don't have girls. They don't take care of themselves. Maybe they're just a little bit weird to talk to. I've met a lot of guys who, like, cannot hold a conversation very well, uh, and women like to conversate. They like, uh, a guy that can hold an interesting conversation, not just like, okay, haha, whatever. You know, those kind of short responses. Saki, so, are you gonna move the goalpost again? To be honest, I sympathize with the people who wanted to wear sweats as their casual clothes all year. See, now that I'm married, I can do that. Um, I, well, I'm not doing it right now because it's summer and it's hot. But uh, during the winter, that's, that's what I do. I just wear, like, sweats and stuff. You know, it's comfortable. It's warm. Okay. It's, it's functional. But my sister and polite society didn't agree with that opinion. She reminded me repeatedly to consider how I looked when I went out among other people. Uh, I would imagine in Japan, it's a little bit different. Uh, here in America, you can literally just wear whatever to a store like Walmart. They really don't care. As long as you're not completely naked. Uh, you can be showing quite a lot before they'll have a concern about it. Because uh, I would know. I've seen Walmart. There have been times when Saki had chosen my clothes for me, so now I've gotten used to wearing neat clothes to a certain extent. <laughs> I tell it to my wife sometimes, because I'm like, you have a whole closet full of clothes. And I'm like, I don't even see you wearing half of this. And she's like, well, it's for this certain occasion. I'm like, just wear it. Who cares? It doesn't have to be for any certain occasion. It's a waste just to have it sitting there. Then we have something to do today. Let's take care of that first. My parents can wait until later, right? Seeing that Saki was starting to wander, I gently steered her. Our goal today was to buy Christmas presents for Saki's parents. Also, no security services was in great demand for parties and Christmas events, so the company president and his wife had no time to rest. Partly because of these circumstances, there would be no Christmas party at the Hasano house. Saki wanted to at least thank her parents, so she was looking for something to get them. You don't really have to worry about it even after we wake up. Why are you so worried about my glasses all of a sudden? I hadn't been wearing them in that room or in the stream at all this whole time. 
Although you could say she didn't have the luxury of worrying about it until now. Does that have something to do with new glasses? I didn't think it would really make any difference whether I had glasses or not. But it was obvious Saki was going to get mad again if I said that, so I decided to let her do it. It's fine that we're looking for presents, but is your family going to be busy for Christmas again? When they provided security for parties, there were times when her father would participate as a security director. There were lots of times Saki was the only one at her house on days of events like that. Christmas was no exception. That's why Saki was shopping for presents for them and I was dragged along. Wow, no, I would have never saw that coming. Hey, why are you saying that? She usually had maids at her house, and it wasn't like they would all be gone, as so someone would find out if she slept over. I'm... I don't know. I'm really surprised they would even care. <laughs> Lucky smile that she imagined her Christmas plans. Even though I'm a guy, I suddenly thought of uh, you saying I reserved us a room at a hotel. I wonder why. What? How lewd. It's gonna happen to us if your dad or Takahara-san finds out about that. That was when I lived with my parents. There were a lot of times Saki stayed at my house for Christmas because her parents were busy with work. It was normal for her to spend the night on those occasions, but the situation was different now. Never said that. What was with the lack of hesitation? Uh, nothing. It's just the way you implied, like, you're staying at our house. Uh, you know, like, it was gonna lead to something else. Not complaining about that. Was it my excessive self-consciousness that made it seem like Saki was hoping to spend Christmas in a way that would be inappropriate for me, or for her, as my sister? Like, maybe we could have a party with us dream regulars or something. <laughs> I mean, Toru does have a lot of options to pick from. That was my, my intention. I found myself being defensive. <laughs> He just doesn't want to end up in a certain situation. Not because he's not interested in you, just because, um, that complicates things. My eyes met with Saki as she looked up at me. It was pathetic, even though I called Saki my sister. It was at times like this I saw her as a girl, and it caused me to look away in embarrassment. To be honest, I've been troubled lately. Saki looked at me with a serious expression. Saki, okay, could it be that you remember that dream? She remembering the dream we like just had not so long ago? We we're talking about that first dream which Saki had said she didn't remember clearly until now. I didn't know what to say, I just emitted strange sounds like ah and ah. You know, the typical Japanese guy. You're the one who wants me to! What? Is it fun cornering me? Saki said with a laugh, looking like she was seriously enjoying it, I wanted her to cut me a break. I wanted to look away from Saki in confusion, but she took my hand. She happily entwined her fingers with mine. Why not? It's important to me. If you remember, then you understand that, right? Well, if you don't clarify, it's easy to just assume things. Like I said proudly as she enjoyed seeing me troubled. I think all the girls enjoy seeing us troubled. I'm really sorry if I had it more together. I regretted this situation so much that it made it hard to tell which one of us was the older, more mature one. 
I couldn't look Saki in the eyes. Yeah, this just is giving me, like, really big Chrono Clock vibes right now. Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Kind of like when Mitri was saying, like, I, I want to be your sister, you know, more than your lover or something like that. Sure. But she's serious. Or is she benching like usual by cornering me and saying, Do you understand how much I'm holding back? I have to ask, what kind of thing would you be hoping for? I probed half jokingly. If I asked seriously and re she replied seriously, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, I have done that with my wife before. It, it is pretty nice to, to kind of do that, especially when you're traveling places. Not like the sort of date you'd see in a drama or something. It'd be fine if it was just the wishful thinking of a young lady, but in Saki's case, she had the power to make it happen. I don't suppose something more appropriate for a student's budget would work. Seemingly enjoying the fatigue increasingly spilling from my mouth, Saki laughed playfully and squeezed my hand. I mean, I agree. Saki, uh oh, Saki was pretty serious. If you did that, I think I would die from regret. It's like he was trying to lower the hurdle for me, asking if I would associate with her so casually. Just in case I uttered a precautionary, that's just playing around in a dream. But who was it a precaution against? Wait, what are you saying? Aki suddenly uh, said it like a pouting kid still holding my hand. No, she was actually pouting. That was rare. Uh, not always. Lately, everyone had been able to remember pretty well. Cut present Alice could alter the dreams, so I gotten used to that. But originally, until we started sharing dreams like this, I was the only one who had lucid dreams. No, never. Saki was smiling, but her eyes were completely serious. She aimed such a cold, sharp gaze at me that I felt like I would be stabbed if I lied. Yes. I could have said no, but she would have seen through that lie right away. Besides, who would believe that I hadn't? Still holding my hand so I couldn't escape, Saki looked at me with cold, narrowed eyes and a finger on her chin. Between the tension and the cold sweat, my body started creaking strangely. Hmm, I wonder. No, um, Saki. To be honest, I'd had dreams about Saki, however, it would be more accurate to say that rather than me doing it, it had been done to me and I couldn't get away. Oh. Because I'm trying to think, the moment where the uh, it was Saki and Keiko on both sides of us, right? That was like a canon thing? I think that's something that's actually happened. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's more like Saki's done something to her, him rather than him doing something to them. You know what an unstoppable force is? Ah, crap. She changed the way she was holding my hand rather than grabbing. It was like we were lovers holding hands. Where did you learn to corner people like this? Having had made my escape route blocked, I couldn't stop sweating despite it being winter. Azaki didn't release my hand, not letting me get away. But would it be okay to nod here? As I said before, I'm not running away from Saki because I don't find her attractive or dislike her. Saki, I can't live up to all your expectations, but I'd like to do what I can. I won't tell you to spend Christmas alone, and we could hang out and eat somewhere too. 
but I'm clumsy, so I don't feel like I could have you be both my sister and my girlfriend. You could. Hey, just what don't you do you see me as? Hi, Maya. Suddenly I heard Maya's voice in the crowd. Saki trembled and held tightly down to my hand. A sickly sweet fragrance welled up from around us, a thick miasma that couldn't be shaken off. I do wonder if Maya is at all jealous of us going after Saki, because Saki is kind of a replacement sister for her. Not really, you know, an actual sister, right? Like, Maya is supposed to be our real sister, which I think is going to be kind of interesting uh, with us going, you know, into Saki's route, and then I believe Maya's is right after, right? Next thing I knew, Maya was standing a little ways from the crowd, just beyond the scattering of people. Immediately, the presence of our surroundings grew weak. It felt like only the three of us had any color here. I don't know. It's a good question. I giggled joyfully. I don't know. I think you can have a more intense love, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's romantic. Wanted to call out to Maya, but my throat was so dry that my voice wouldn't come out. Even though Saki should have been right next to me, I couldn't tell if she was really there or not. Yeah, that is kind of what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I think that is kind of the interesting part about having the bad end be with Saki and Maya, and only involving those two. Like, neither of the other, you know, girls had anything like that happen. At least, I mean, I don't know about Alice's route, but it is kind of interesting that the way she's saying this now, we kind of think back to the bad end where she kind of replaced herself as Saki because Saki kind of replaced her. Oh hey, it's the forest. I giggled, my surroundings gave way to a dark forest. The sweet smell intermingled with the smell of the trees. それともまとめてだったかしら。Maya, I Maya giggled like she was having so much fun she couldn't stand it. I'm actually having fun too. I mean, I'm really enjoying the way they're kind of posing this. Because I think this really catches Toru off guard when he's asked a question like that. Who would you have embraced? Would, would you embrace no one or maybe both of us? Because let's be honest, if if Maya was still alive, who would he have eventually kind of fallen for? Obviously, Maya had really strong feelings. Maybe Saki did as well. Uh, so would he have embraced neither of them? You know, because Maya being his sister, that would maybe be a little bit controversial. Uh, and then with Saki, maybe he wouldn't have wanted to do that because there's always the risk that when you go for one of your best friends that you've always known that if it doesn't work out you ruin that friendship it's almost a gamble of whether it would be worth it or not or whether you should have just stayed friends so i really like the way she's kind of asking him these questions it's very much catching him off guard you can kind of tell but her eyes didn't look like they were smiling <laughs> I also like how she says things like this, like her eyes didn't look like she was smiling. 
It's almost like Maya's kind of hurt inside. Like she wants to be there and kind of is inserting herself because she ha she's kind of missed things, right? Uh, with her being gone, it's, it's like she's missed all of these uh, times in his life when he's made memories or like uh, built himself up as a person and she's kind of missed those. Um, I mean, like I said, I don't think Maya's a villain. Uh, she's a little bit of an antagonist for sure. But at the same time, like, she says things like, I'm your ally, and I believe that. So, it's just kind of interesting. Her, her character role is is so uh, unique to me. I haven't really ever seen anything else like this where you have a character like her. Uh, I really I really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to kind of getting more of the full story, and especially going to Alice. Alice is the wild card here, too. Uh, I wonder how that's going to play out when we start going after Alice and and Maya and Alice kind of clash, you know? You can no longer tell whether I was standing shakily or sitting. My world collapsed. The surroundings became wrapped in darkness. Oh, we're still in the forest. Next thing I knew, I was in a forest. This is... I was in a place like this. Oh, I can skip from here. Okay, let's do that. Bucky's grip on my shoulders tightened. Her fingers were white from the strength she was putting into them. That's... Why was that? I felt like I could almost remember, but not quite. I wanted to remember it was something important. Saki wasn't my little sister, so why? Saki murmured uh, with her head lowered before looking up. Saki? Okay, hold up. We need some context for this. That's the thing I hate about skipping, though, is I lose a lot of context. Oh, okay, so this is when we thought Maya was hanging around us and she was in the, um, the school uniform, things like that. Every time I jump, though, it's so confusing. Okay, and so Saki's kind of remembering all the things that have happened. Saki kissed me. Oh, okay. It was a kiss with that sad, salty taste of tears. I remember that feeling of Saki's lips touching mine. Slowly, Saki's lips parted from mine. A string of saliva mixed with tears stretched between us and broke. Then she had to sigh my face as hard as she could. <laughs> Wh what? You just kissed me and then you hit me. What kind of logic is that? A sharp, dry snap echoed in my ears. Ah. My cheek was hit so hard that my vision blurred and I saw white for a moment. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> That's not. But Maya came back with. Came back? Really? Then why did I remember Saki kissing and hitting me? Why did this happen before? What if the real plot twist is at the end, Maya never existed to begin with? Only in dreams. Okay, I do remember this. Uh, I can't skip it, but I feel like we had some similar dialogue before. Maya wasn't with me, she wasn't. Maybe it was because it was a different girl? I don't know. But I was with Maya. Maya was the first thing uh, when I woke up and I was relieved. Maybe the real plot twist is at the end we find out we're a schizophrenic. When I fell asleep, Saki and the people around me said that Maya didn't come back. 
Tears streamed down Saki's face and her eyes were bright red, but she looked straight at me. Damn, that's kind of harsh. I mean, she didn't want to replace Maya, but then she ended up doing so. Not really because she wanted to. But I feel like it was necessary. He, he needed a sister to kind of attach himself to. Kind of interesting when you put it that way. Actually, that, that kind of like changes the way I look at their dynamic a little bit. I feel like I kind of knew that, but now they're reaffirming it to me. As I sat there with a dazed face, Saki clung to me and sobbed. Ah, Saki, Maya is. Saki, then, this isn't a dream, this is reality. Saki wailed. Maya was gone, but I had... Ah, sorry. Tears spilled out of my dazed eyes. I'm sorry, Saki. I'm sorry, Maya. I finally saw what was in front of me. I thought that the world without Maya was the dream world and I didn't want to be there. But for me, that was reality without a doubt. This was the real world. I'm sorry, Maya. I can't go with you. I didn't know what to do with the sobbing Saki. I can't leave Saki. I can't. All Saki did was wail. Remembered how it felt when Saki kissed me and my cheek hurt. Hey Saki? Saki looked at me between her tears. Maya didn't come back from that forest, did she? She's not coming back, is she? Maya was gone. I... I still couldn't admit it. But if I didn't, I would end up leaving Saki behind. For me, the world with Saki was reality. The world with Maya was the dream world. I'm sorry. I didn't know who I was apologizing to, or for what anymore. I'm sorry. I just embraced Saki as she sobbed. Saki was really there. And it wasn't a vague feeling like in a dream. Here was a world where I had a little sister who wasn't Maya. It was a wrong, disturbing world. But that was why, if that was my fault, I couldn't run away. That was a powerful scene. I really enjoyed that. A dim forest following the moon and stars for light. I think we can skip from here. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so this was us kind of ending a conversation here. Where are we at right now? I woke up. I was lying on my bed when I sat up. Tears fell from my eyes. It was pathetic with both the tears and the voice that came from my trembling throat wouldn't stop. I was suddenly hugged from the side. Saki. That was my nightmare. There was nothing strange about someone else seeing it since everyone was now involved. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I clung to Saki and sobbed, and the tears wouldn't stop. Mai was gone. I couldn't see her again. It was natural that I couldn't see her, and that was for the best. I knew that, but I still missed her so much. So I did all I could. I cried. I've had to let go of Maya quite a few times, and it only seems like she's never really gone. When my tears finally stopped, I noticed something odd. Saki wasn't the only person in the room with me. No, don't apologize. I just wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. Sniffling, I answered Club Prez as she looked awkward at me. I still wasn't composed. In short, it looked hardly like any time had passed in the dream. Everyone had come out of here uh, for worry for me. After I went to wake up here, Sokka didn't wake up myself. Apparently, they had all slept in my apartment after that. Wow, okay, thanks. You're terrible. You don't have to say that out loud. No, it's very on brand for her. Well, it's true that it was easier for me if they treated the matter lightly like this, but. Yeah. As if to distract me from the other two, Saki put my glasses on. The sensation of the cold frames and Saki's soft fingers made me feel relieved. Saki continued to stare at my face for some reason. I still have something on my face. I cried a lot, so my eyes were probably bright red, just as I thought that. Saki suddenly kissed me. It was so sudden that I didn't realize what was happening. Saki tapped the area next to her eye with a finger. Yeah, well, but still. Saki's face was bright red, Club Press was grinning, and Hirosaka was wide eyed. You didn't have to do that in front of them. No, I, I agree with her logic. <laughs> Saying that I've been trained by Saki sounded almost too appropriate and caused a different kind of tears to fall from my eyes. Uh, I guess so. That conversation continued. I suddenly got an email on my cell phone. Since it would help me escape from the reality in front of me, I picked up the phone from my nightstand. It was from an unregistered sender. I don't recognize that address. I think, yeah, I think this sign sounds like we're going down this. Spread out before us were the plants we had seen in the dream world. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I know this is not really where I want to stop, but um, I'm, I'm going to stop here. We're, we're going to save. I think we've actually had quite a few good moments. Uh, Had a lot of funny moments at the beginning, and then got into kind of some more serious ones. And we're seeing how Saki's like starting to uh, show more affection for us, like trying to cement that we have something going on, that our relationship is kind of moving beyond that of just, you know, being a, a brother and a sister, even though we're not. I like where this is going. Uh, I want to see, though, kind of what Saki's route evolves into, because we're not like fully into it yet. Um, I, I believe I have one more dialogue option. I mean, we're definitely making decisions that are, like, kind of showing us her route, but uh, we, we still have probably till the next episode before I'll, like, fully dive into it and see kind of what we're working with. 
But, uh... We're back in the plants in the dream world. That's not good. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. And, uh... See where things take us next episode. So, I'll see you guys then.